Hey everyone, we're playing some more Sly. We are finally getting to the last episode. Episode 8, The Anatomy for Disaster. So, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what the last episode has in store for us. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Definitely one of the cooler intros, in my opinion. I, I I like that intro. Okay, final level. And I do remember this one pretty fondly. Let's see what moves I can buy. And these are the last moves, and I do... For once, I actually don't have enough money. <clears throat> Usually, I have enough money to, like, just quick buy them. I don't. Uh, Feral Pounds, Jump Over Vast Distances, Diablo Fire Slam, Freeze Time Around Guards. Okay, I'm definitely buying this. And then we'll have to save up for the other two for now. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Sly here. And then we'll take a look around the map. Let's also see... Feral Pounds. Wait, is this the... That's a Thief Reflexes. Um, let's go ahead and see how far... Whoa! That's a big old jump you got there, bud. Okay, let's go ahead and get away from that. So, where's our first mission? We'll go ahead and do a mission or two, <clears throat> and then we'll look for the bottles and stuff. So let's see, where are we where are we at mission-wise? Okay. So, um, yeah, wow, this is this is definitely one of the cooler maps. Um What's in these eggs? More eggs. Okay, well I'm sure that'll come in handy. Um somehow at some point. Sorry, I had to fix my setting for my um Headset. Woo! Whoopsies. Oh, I just fell off. Okay. Alright, so I, I'm guessing that'll be one of the main things I gotta watch out for on this map is falling off. Um, if you guys have watched this the series, you know I'm not the brightest when it comes to... Grab that one since we have it. When, when it comes to falling off things, I like to fall off things very often. It's a favorite pastime of mine. I need to get up there, right? Oh boy, how do I get up there? Probably have to use this thing, right? Okay, that's not the one I wanted to get on. Okay. Well, well once once I get kind of learn the map, we'll go ahead and be a little faster with getting to places. For now, I guess we'll just run around. Grab a bottle or two while we're at it. Oh, I need to go up there. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I understand. We'll grab this bottle. Ooh. Okay, those are jumpy pads. Noted. They did not look like anything, so that actually surprised me when I got lofted into the air. Alright, where's this again? It's over here, right? Mm, Okie dokie. So I'm pretty sure I can just walk on this, right? It's not gonna, like, just, like, throw me off. Ooh, can he see me here? No, he can't. Oops. Whoopsies. Alright, let's just not do that. Oh, he done sniped me out of the air. How does he... Oh, there's a piece of art. Alright. Don't leave me alone. That would be wonderful. Let's just get all... Let's get all of you off of the roof. Yeah. Can y'all stop jumping up here? <laughs> yeah, just... Do I have my... Okay, I do have my lightning spin. Okay. 
What is that stupid mission? I keep... There it is. I keep coming up here for it, and then I like forget where it's at. Ooh, bottle. We grab those. Ooh, there's gonna be a hacky thing for Mr. Bentley later on. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build a plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's get a little higher, huh? I don't feel like just dying. I was like, am I supposed to... I could just climb onto the wing rider. I don't need to, like, glide right over. Yeah, I can just climb over here, and then I can, um, climb up the top. Ooh, that's a weird little texture. Because right here... Oh, do I actually fall off? See, no, I'm standing on top of nothing currently. It's a weird little texture. Um, I can't tell if that's, like, a bug, or that's just, like, uh... uh... Okay. <laughs> or if that's just, like, a PS2 thing. Where their textures, you know, couldn't handle it. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in the blimp. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast. Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. I noted, so he basically just told me, don't kill anyone. Hey, Bentley, whatever you say. These Bonk. magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Alright, what else we got? I need to get a picture of his head. What in the world? Yo, I see Nala over there. Don't think he can get, get past me. I'm guessing that's Arpeggio in his little wheelchair over there. Um. Okay. Ooh, he has treasure in his back pocket. Not yet. I want what's in your back pocket, bud. I know I'm not supposed to get caught, but I'm a little I'm a little sneaky goblin. Nothing? That was it? What? What happened to your treasure? Can I not get your treasure? Oh, okay. Ooh, that's kinda it for me, right? See, why didn't the mission Of course he shot me off. Why didn't the mission end right there? I thought Bentley said I couldn't get caught. Okay. Well, I suck at the game, but it didn't punish me, so that's fine. You know, it wants it from the front of the head. Okay, that was mean of you. Boink. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Alright, I need to get the egg, but I also want to come over here. They can't see me, right? What are you doing in there, Nala? Hmm? What about you, bird boy? You little weirdo. He's actually kind of a big bird. Anyone else in there? <clears throat> Anyone else important? That I should know about? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and I need to get... These guys have treasure on them. I need to get that treasure. Again, there... Now, there's three more, tr like, treasure... Whoopsies. There's three more treasures on the map that I can get, and those will sell for quite a bit of money. So I don't have to gather that much, but, um... Yeah. And, so, okay, I need to grab a picture of the mech egg. I don't know what in the world a mech egg is. Mech egg? Eggs? Oh, 
Oh, they're probably in this room over here. I got you, I got you. Okay. He's stealing any of it. It kind of confuses me, to be honest. Don't know why they've made it that way. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Again, with these... Why does it say you have treasure and then you don't? That's false advertisement. I'm looking for money. Show me the money. Okay, we'll just, uh, blimpy blimpy over here. Was that not a picture to your liking? Apparently it wasn't, okay. There he is. The mastermind behind this blimp and the source of all our problems. Oops. Broski. I keep pressing the wrong buttons like I'm a doofus. There we go. I can't believe it. <clears throat> she must have been working with Arpeggio all along. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild Clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Okay. <clears throat> That's why I couldn't take the treasure because they all have keys. And I wasn't supposed to grab the keys beforehand. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I'm out here like they really didn't that's not a bug, right? Um actually you won't know be better. Maybe I can like do a little jump from here, yeah. There we go. Alright, give me your key, bud. Wonder can I kill you without everyone knowing? No, probably not. Alright. Cool. Shoot. It's okay, maybe actually I'll I'll kinda have a chance to grab both keys right here. I'll grab you first. And then I'll grab you next. Alright, one more. Where's that last one? It's you, right? Yeah, you in the middle really the easiest one to grab because he's not really seen by anyone else. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. Alright, I'm gonna guess that is done through this thing, right? And I can climb on top of clockwork. Ooh! What a large bird. Look at him. I felt like he was bigger in the first... No, maybe? No, maybe that is scale. I felt like he was bigger in the first game because we were over here like whacking his head. I feel like, yeah, that's about scale. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Alrighty. Um... What's the easiest way to do that? Let's see I can... Bouncy bounce on this thing. Okay, so I could probably jump on it when it makes its, makes its way around. It's gonna take forever to do it, but... There we go. Bonk. Okay, how many inducers are there? 
Is it just the one? I mean, on each like little platform. So I know there's the one, then there's one over here. Okay, so it looks like there is two. I wonder, do I need to hit all four? And I just hit one at a time. Okay, I'm dumb. I should just look at the bottom of the screen. Yes, I do need to hit all four. Okay. Well then, we know that this one is the next one. A little, it'll be a little bit of a tight race. I gotta run over to it before the dip goes too far. Oop, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I hit it! Oh. I did fall off though, which, but I'll, I'll take that as like a consequence of doing it absolutely last minute. Okay, that one's converted. So I just need to do that last one, so. Alright, I have to sit here. Let's just take a look around. Why is Neela's like, outline is much, much darker than Arpeggio's? I'm guessing his is a little harder to like animate, considering he's a little bit more specific in his detail of his character. Alright. Bink, boom, bop. Ooh. Then the magnets have been reversed. Hey, but by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Oh, yeah, Sly Cooper. Of course, this would be your doing. Ah. Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew! All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes, but not me. No, I saw them for what they really were, the keys to life eternal. So what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred. Putting his gears and wires together was child's play compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give Clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah, well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Nina, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Ooh! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous. 
You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I demand it. Ooh! <clears throat> Yo! She murdered him so fast. That's not good. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the <coughs> clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. All right. <clears throat> Sounds exciting to me. Let's do it. Um, let's go ahead and get Sly. We got 22 minutes on the video. Okay, so this is actually where we're gonna go ahead and collect bottles and collect treasure because I don't want to start another mission. So, let's make our rounds. We collected just a couple of bottles already. So, yeah. Um, let's see, this is a Bentley mission. Let's collect this bottle over here. Is there... I don't think there's a bottle up there. Let's see. I, and this map is very, very <clears throat> vertical. Oh. So there's gonna... Oh. Can I grab it without... Okay. I'm just gonna actually grab that. And then I'm gonna... Okay. Well, let's keep looking. We got a lot of bottles to find. There's gotta be one down here, right? Yeah. Alright, we got seven already. Whoops. How do I get off of this platform? Oh, I can just climb up. Oh, where are you? I want to see the bird. I don't know. Clockwork is one of like the coolest villains, man. Look how sick that is. It's so cool. I love it. Right, let's see. Any bottles up here? No. There is a bottle next to Murray's mission, though. Go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be a bottle on top of every blimp, just because <clears throat> why not, right? Let's see. Bottle? No bottle. Okay, noted. Um, yeah, I don't... Wait. Oh yeah, that's where I just came from. I'm like, is there gonna be a bottle over there? I guess if we really wanted to play this smart, we would go up to down, because it's a lot easier to get down than to get up. R remind ourselves that that's there. Yeah, just remind ourselves that that's there. Oh, that could be it right there. Okay. See, will it let us climb up here? No, it won't actually. That's weird. But we can grab <clears throat> this bottle over here. Where can I go that's high enough? Um. Oh, there's another bottle there. Bonk. See, actually, another bottle over there, too. Try not to get shot. Let's climb up here. Maybe this is like a step closer to maybe leading us towards a way to get up to the mysterious place over there. 
Oh, can I climb this thing? Ah, uh, that's probably it. Maybe? Okay, I can definitely fly down using this. Let's see, can I hit it in the right location? Whew. Lit. Okay. Well, it's gonna be things like this I have to watch out for that. Like, I just, like, don't see that well. I think that's it for this area. So, can we get... Can we get any... Oh, there's one up here and I didn't even notice. Oh. What in the world is that? I don't know what that is, but I don't want to touch it. Okay, so there's nothing up here. Don't knock me off. Okay. So I think this right here will lead me to higher places. Okay, and another bottle, actually. Dude. Actually, here, let me fall off. If I fall off, it might bring me back up to, yeah, where I needed to be. Ooh, there's another... Oh, so that dude sniped me out of the air, like... I think that was the best snipe so far of the game, I would say. I see another bottle over there. Alright, um... Let's make sure if there's a bottle that requires height, we do that one first. Whoops. I say that and then I fall off, so that's cool. I think that might be the only bottle here. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere really else to hide a bottle. Zoink, give me your treasure. I still need a little bit of the money, so... What you got? Large gold bar. Look at you. Cashed out. Now you're done. Oh, you got treasure on you also, too? Gimme, gimme. What you got? Another large gold bar. I wonder now that we're in the last level, everyone just has gold bars on them. Like, these, these guys are the high pay rate guards, clearly. Alright, let's see. Did I... Did I check over here? I don't know if I checked over here. I'm still missing quite a few bottles, though. Let's see. Oh, ten more. Okay, so it's a lot, but not that much. I don't think we checked over here. Really, guys? Just leave me alone for two seconds. I'm not like I'm not trying to hurt y'all or steal. I just I just want a second to look for bottles. Ah, oh, the dude's gonna try to snipe me now. Okay, okay. I'm guessing I can do the same thing by just jumping down here, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just go around. 20. 21. And then there's gonna be 22. Alright, there was quite a few in that area. I wouldn't suspect any more are here now. Maybe, maybe there's actually one over yonder. Wait, I've actually already been here. Yeah, I wouldn't suspect another one to be right here. Ooh, secret bottle. Go and grab that one. Just fly around this guy. Oh, what a clock low! Oh, you just went through the map. Whoops. Also, I'm probably gonna die here. Yep. Psych. I'm still alive, like 2 HP. It's a weird floating egg. 
Oh, so did I just see a bottle? Bottle? No. <gasps> bottle? Hey yo. Six more. how you do it maybe there was probably another way to get up here that i don't know about but that was also kind of sick Oop, i'm gonna die here aren't i can i jump from here like if i do this and then i can actually double jump to get up here all right i'm at that was that's actually pretty cool guys i know there's a time treasure here oh we got a minute Say less, that's more than enough time. Now, the only problem is I can't really get shot, but I think I'll be fine. Oh, yeah, see, right there, bang. I just wouldn't have checked that for some reason otherwise. That's exactly why, if you get stuck, go treasure hunting. It will usually help you find a bottle or two. Not all of them, but it'll help you. Okay. Ooh. See, and I hear another bottle. Yeah, so there is another bottle near here. There's actually maybe, maybe two. See, I didn't think this area of the map was actually accessible. There's another one over here. Okay. We need two more bottles. Two more. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to look for treasure. I need to find where the last two are. I hear a bottle. There's one up here, isn't there? Yep. Cool. One more bottle, along with two treasures. So, one bottle, two treasures, since now. I think there's got to be a treasure on that large like, communal platform for all the guards. There has to be one there. But I also hear the last bottle. Okay. Yeah, at the end there, it kind of cleared up on its own there, which is nice. I didn't really have to search that hard. The treasures guided me. There's another one. I I had a feeling there had to be one in this area. Where's the safe house? Okay, safe house is that way. Alright, another timed one. We only have a minute for this one, so actually we have less time than normal. I'm, I will be taking the hard route here. Actually, I say it's a hard route, but it's just... The route where I gotta not be dumb and get hit by these things. Yeah. And then, while I'm at it, I will be picking this guy's stuff. Medium nugget, that's all you got for me? Disgraceful. Yeah, and I still have plenty of time to get back. As long Again, as long as I don't get hit by anything. Hopefully he doesn't, like, snipe me with, like, a little pebble. Alright, one more treasure. And I, I gotta find where it's at. Try V2. Again, maybe this time we won't hit the propellers. And maybe we'll take this way this time. A little bit of a safer route, huh? And then we'll check how much these treasures are worth, and hopefully... They are enough to buy the moves? I I highly doubt they would be. Because those last moves are going to be like 4,000 total, which is a lot of coinage. Please don't hit me. Alright, that is all of them. Let's go ahead and see what we can sell. We already got 1,000 actually. Oh yeah, that's not a lot. Wait, we're close though. We're, at, we're actually not that far off. 
Let's buy the Diablo Fire Slam. We literally need like 300 more coins. So you know what, actually, I will be going around pickpocketing and we're gonna buy the move right now. All right, I'm wishful thinking on that diamond. I'm just hoping that diamond's worth a little something that I can just sell it here. We're very, very close. I can feel it. There we go. All right, and I think other than the last safe, I think that's all the moves in the game. All right, we're going to get that safe and the missions next episode. We got the bottles and the treasure, guys, so see you next time.